Hey guys, it is Tuesday. I know I haven't been making videos. There's been a lot going on. Um, first thing, a lot of you have been following me for a while would know my daughter was expecting a baby. We now have a baby. Little Miss Sophia is beautiful. I will not be sharing pictures on my channel. As a matter of fact, I took 300 people off my Facebook just so I could share pictures of her on there and feel comfortable with it. Um, she is beautiful. Mom and baby are doing amazing. Um, and I'm stuck in Utah and she's in Connecticut because Connecticut says if I fly, if I go there to visit, I have to stay for two weeks in quarantine before I can do anything, which means I could be denied hotels. I wouldn't be able to go get food. Um, just a lot of complications that I don't need to have when I'm just trying to spend time with my granddaughter and my daughter and her fiance. Um, that also happened. Uh, they did finally get engaged after, you know, I don't know, 20, no, no, like 10 years of off and on being together and always loving each other, but having stuff get in the middle, like, you know, kids do. So yeah, so that's been going on. Um, I got a job. Um, I am working from home. I've been doing online training for the last week and a half. Um, and that has been exhausting me. Um, I had a different sleep schedule, but now I have to five o'clock in the morning because we work off of 8 a.m. East coast, which is 6 a.m. My time, which is by 6 a.m. I have to be able to understand things and speak and hear and think. And yeah, so I will put 5 a.m. every day and my body still hasn't gotten used to it yet. So I'm still wanting to stay up late, but I'm having to get up at five o'clock in the morning. So that's kind of sucked. Um, you'll notice my little rug back here that we're going to end up donating because it's too big for everywhere in this house. So we're going to bring that down to the donation place, um, which did open. I think I did a video on that. Um, other new things. So this right here is my folder for a four months gym challenge that I'm doing. There is a gym, um, in Brigham city. Um, there's actually two locations, one smaller than the other. Um, and I'm probably going to call it the wrong name. Um, but it's physique's finest, I believe. Um, see it says, well, physique's pretty sure it's physique's finest. Um, and yeah, so needless to say, um, that is someplace that I went down to. They have some really cool classes that I'm looking forward to trying. Um, uh, one of them is called pound where you have drumsticks. Um, and then the other one that I want to try, they have urban kick and they have indoor cycling. And those are two classes I would like to try. I might try and sign up for the indoor cycling on Thursday and check it out. Um, and I'm not sure what high fitness is. I'm going to look into that as well, but I'm going to start trying to take some classes and see how that turns out for me. Um, they did do an initial weigh-in. Uh, last week. And so I will show you my numbers. Hopefully it's going the right direction. So I weighed in at 373.5. My arms were 21 inches. My chest was 55. My waist was 57 and a half. My hips were 70 and my thighs are 33 and a half. So that's where I am starting. They will do, weigh, do all these measurements again in a month. And I will share those then. Um, I want to be under 300 by the end of October because once we've been at our jobs for six months, um, sorry. Um, yeah. So once I've been at my job for six months, I should be able to take some time off and be able to go see my grandbaby. Um, worst case scenario, I fly them out here. Um, so there's that. Um, but I'm thinking we might wait until, uh, Valentine's day. That way my daughter and her fiance can go out to dinner or something for Valentine's day. And I can just snuggle my granddaughter all night. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, but my husband accepted a job local. So there will be no more traveling to Idaho every week for four days without being home. And then trying to push everything we need to do into two days, like paying bills, grocery shopping, shopping for anything else we need. Un I mean, we're still unpacking, 
from him being in Idaho all the time. Like it just, because he would be, he would leave on Sunday night. And here's the thing. A lot of the stuff we still have left to unpack includes some of his stuff and, or is stuff I can't lift or carry. Um, my son has been down in Arizona for a few weeks visiting his dad because his grandmother passed away. Um, he's not coming home till this Saturday. He's been gone for almost a month. Um, so it was basically me by myself and my husband gone and I can't lift these heavy boxes. I'm too short to reach stuff that's really up high. And so things just got super overwhelming for me and I was super depressed. And then when he would come home on Friday morning, he'd be tired from working 40 hours in four days. And, but he knew we had to get stuff done. So I'd have like a grocery list ready and we'd have to go to the grocery store. We have to make a, you know, other things we needed. We have to go grab those. And then we'd come home and we'd try to spend time together. We also had to put away all the groceries, try to unpack stuff. Like it was just this constant run, run, run. Um, and it was just draining. Like, I just didn't feel like I saw him because I also wanted to give him downtime. And so I wouldn't, I would, you know, kind of stay out of his way, let him go do his own thing. But then I'm also not getting any time. I'm not getting help with things I need help with because I feel bad asking him to work at home when he's put out a 40 hour work week already. Um, and like I said, I mean, he was just really helping out a friend. So it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't like a job job. I mean, it could have been, but I mean, literally they were paying him like nothing. They were paying him what they could. And it isn't even enough pay or rent at the end of the month. So that was not going to work. And this job that he's getting now, we'll be able to make our rent and all of our bills and it'll be fine. Um, so I'm feeling good about where we're at. I am working, like I said, for a call center, um, from home, um, which all the COVID stuff, I'm pretty happy that I'm not having to go out to an office. I did have a job offer where they wanted me to go into, a, into an office, but it was for a dollar 50 less an hour than what I'm making working from home. Like, why would I go into an office, deal with office drama and office germs, for less money. Like that makes zero sense. And when I applied there, I applied for work for a work from home job. This was paying me $2 an hour more, but they did that bait and switch thing. And I was like, yeah, I don't do that. So I'm out. Um, Oh, I got my hair done did. Um, so my hair is much shorter now. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, and I mean, otherwise I'm just, we got a juicer. So I'm be showing you some really fun juice recipes. I will tell you something. We had one of those cheap, like $40 juicers, not cheap, but you know what I mean? Like the $40 juicers, you could pick like a Walmart. It was like 30 bucks when we bought it. And I always didn't like the juice coming out of it because it literally just tasted like sludge or felt like sludge. Didn't taste, it tasted like fruit and vegetables, which was fine. But there was just so much sludge feeling to it when you tried to drink it. It was too thick for me. I just did not like it. And it would be warm. So you'd have to chill it. And then by the time you chilled it, it would separate. And it was just too much. Well, we got this juicer at Bath and, no, Bed Bath and Beyond. And the 20% off coupon worked on it. It was a Breville. And the only reason that we went for it is because I had 20% off, which made it cheaper than the next one down. Um, Which we probably could have used a coupon too. But the way we looked at it was this was a much better juicer for less than the lower juicer. So we were like, yeah, let's just go ahead and get it. Cause we had a 20% off coupon and it is amazing. First of all, it's so easy to clean up. It's like rinse stuff off as soon as you're done and you are good to go. And I'm going to be doing a recipe slash juice combo tomorrow after work to show you guys like how you can use your juicer for two ways. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be posting it tomorrow. I'm going to be videoing it tomorrow. Um, but that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, so there's been a lot going on. Um, that is my current weigh in on their scale. I haven't weighed myself on my scale because I'm literally only going to go by their scale. So I will only be updating my weight once a month and it'll be an update from my gym weigh in according to the challenge that I'm doing. Now I am still doing the DDP positively unstoppable challenge, kind of restarting it. So I'm only going to get in. July, August, and March are four months of the six. Um, but the one thing I did a lot of thinking, because, you know, when I signed up for it in January, I was going to get started. I was going to go for it. And then everything went crazy. The world went crazy. My life went crazy. We moved across country. Like so many stressful things happened, but I didn't, yes, I gained some weight back, but comparable to what 
where I was, I'm still 100 pounds down. So I haven't gained that much. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, considering we didn't have, you know, for a while we couldn't cook at home because everything was packed. We couldn't cook here in the beginning because so everything was packed. And I couldn't work out. My gym literally just got set up. So I've only been doing DDP when I could in the spaces I could find because I didn't have a big enough space to do it because of the layout of this living room, which is not going to happen. Um, and there's just been a lot of things happening. And I am very proud of the fact that overall I've maintained, um, even though things have been bad for six months, like really bad. Um, I mean, I was super sick back in January. My doctor contacted me and said, hey, FYI, go get an antibody test. I am pretty positive what you have is COVID. Um, and I was like, great, thanks. I was, you know, I was wondering that because of my symptoms. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys would call me talking about this back in January, but I had a fever so high, my body was shivering. I literally called my sister-in-law and was like, hey, um, what's going on? Like, why am I shivering? She's like, oh, you probably have some infection or something. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I feel horrible, but this is really not something I've ever experienced. Literally, my teeth were chattering. I was shaking. My husband would cover me up with blankets. Didn't work. I was just so cold, but literally I was so hot. And um, just, I was so sick. My Everything just, I had a headache. It was so bad. I thought my head was going to explode. I had a sore throat. I was coughing. You know, all these things that I had wrong with me. And my doctor was like, well, it's probably just bronchitis and We'll give you a, you know, it's, or if it's not bronchitis, it's a really weird flu. It's not the typical flu because you have symptoms that aren't normal for flu, but, but they didn't think it was here then. But literally before that we were in an Asian market and shopping. And so the chances that I may have come in contact with somebody who had brought it home with them is possible. Um, so, or had been around somebody and had caught it from them. I mean, there's just a lot of possibilities. And I haven't gotten a, a test because I don't have insurance right now. So we're waiting for my husband to start his job because his insurance is A+. Plus. Um, so once he gets his insurance stuff done, then I'll be good to go for insurance. And then I'll probably go ahead and get the antibody test. But I've heard some conflicting stories about the test. So I'm not even sure I'm going to bother because they're also saying if you've had any of the other coronaviruses, not necessarily this one, they can't specifically say you've had this one. They just said you've had one of them and there's multiple and one of them even causes a common cold. So you can get false positives. So that's kind of disheartening. Um, and they also say they don't know if you can get it again or not. So not cool. Um, but yeah, so that's, what's been going on. I'm sorry this ran so long. Um, I'm going to do another few videos. I have a couple of recipe videos for you guys. Um, I'm going to do a catch up video and tell you what I've been doing otherwise, some of the fun stuff and, um, I will talk to you later. Bye.